Share evaluation problem five. Calculating the implied return given other values using the dividend growth model. Jacoby's shares are expected to pay a dividend of $20 next year. Dividends are expected to grow at a constant rate of 1.5%. Given that the share price is presently $240, what is the implied required return? So what are we looking for here? It says the implied required return. So we're looking for the using the dividend growth model and we're going to calculate R. R is the required return. Let's label the information we have. So we're paying a dividend of $20 next year. Now it's $20, it's a dividend, so that's a dividend. And it says next year, so that is D1. That's why we use a subscript, if you recall, for the equation. So D1 is 20. Now we have growing at a constant growth at a constant rate of 1.5%, so that's G. And we have a present share price or a share price of $240, that's P0. Now we put it into the dividend growth model equation. P0 is D1 over R minus G. And then we put in the numbers, 240 is P0, D1 is 20. We don't know R, we're solving for it, and G is 1.5%. And the rest is algebra. Taking the equation, we're going to cross multiply and then to solve it. So first we cross multiply, or you could say we multiply both sides by R minus 1.5%. That gives us 240 times R minus 1.5% equals 20. Multiplying that out, we have 240R minus 3.6 equals 20. Collecting the, the, the terms, so we're going to have 240R equals 23.6. And then R, therefore, is 23.6 over 240. That gives us 0 0.09833. And that means our implied required rate of return is 9.83%. And that's our answer. Thanks for your attention, and I hope that helped.